Welcome to the No Guilt Fangirls Podcast, where liking what you like is never a bad thing. Here's your host and head fangirl in charge, Patty Holiday. Hey y'all, welcome to the No Guilt Fangirls Podcast. I'm your host and head fangirl in charge, Patty Holiday. And uh, hi, this is the dailyish fangirl. Now, I haven't had a dailyish for a while. It, things have just been crazy. But today, there was a lot going on. There's a lot going on, and I wanted to I wanted to talk about it. So that's what we're doing. Okay. First of all, hi. Anybody that's watching this on video, I'm going to throw a video up as well. Hi, guys. But to let you know, I am at a blog conference right now. So I've just snuck off into one of the meeting rooms. But there's a door, like, right over to the left. And people probably could come in and come out. And maybe you'll hear some things. I'm just going to keep going, but I just want to give you a heads up as to why it might sound different, uh, why you might have some different noises going on. I'm not in my usual uh, podcast studio. All right, the news. Uh, first off, <laughs> huge news, huge news. Marvel and Sony are besties again. We knew it would happen. We hoped it would happen. I guess we didn't say we knew it would happen because like anything could have happened. They shouldn't have broken up in the first place. But I think when you're talking the huge sums of money, that we were talking, when you were talking about how much um, love Spider-Man got, particularly this summer, you know, it was it was bound to happen. So it wasn't a huge surprise that there was this little breakup. Well, Sony and Marvel are now back together. And uh, I think the whole internet, the whole MCU, we all just had this huge sigh of relief, or at least everybody in my friend zone did, because we're thrilled. Details are, um, at least this is what's been rumored because of course they're not going to officially announce it uh, but details are is that they've de- come to a financing at 50 50 basis kevin feige is still in as consulting producer marvel and disney get uh 25 percent of the profits i think is what they landed on and disney keeps that merchandising which you know if you got kids you know they own everything spider-man so that was huge i'm sure uh and and guys spider-man will be in another mcu film as well as this third film, so the Homecoming, Home home Whatever trilogy they're calling it, is going to happen in the MCU. Thrilled. Thrilled with this. Uh, Feige said that he is uh, thrilled with Spider-Man's journey and that it's going to continue in the MCU. They are all very excited that they get to keep working on it, is basically what he said about all of this. It's kind of cool. guys. This isn't a Kevin Feige fangirl episode, but it might as well be because <laughs> I love him. I, I I dig him. I think he's incredibly talented. And uh, I mean, gosh, just look at what the MCU has done over the last 11 years, right? 12 years, going, whatever we're going on right now. Uh, it's Kevin Feige. It's Kevin Feige. And if anybody wants to fight me on that, we can. You'll lose because I'm right. I'm just right on this, okay? Kevin Feige is now going to produce something that I didn't think would happen, but he's going to be in Star Wars. He is going to take over a Star Wars film. <sighs> like, my mind's blown. Uh, I'll admit, I'll admit, when I first saw this, I was a little mad. I was a little salty. I was like, mm, Star Wars, I love you, but you can't have Kevin. He's ours. He's MCU. You, you don't, don't mess with him. This guy has got to be the hardest Maybe not the hardest working, but he is one of the hardest working people in Hollywood because he's got his hands in a lot of pies right now, guys. And now we've just added Star Wars to that. All right. Here's the cool thing. I love what he has done with MCU. Can you imagine what he's going to be able to do with Lucasfilm? It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, as long as it, as long as it doesn't mess up anything in my MCU world. <laughs> I am all on board with him taking over something in Star Wars. And it sounds just like one movie, so it doesn't sound like this is forever. And he's a huge Star Wars fanboy, so I'm all for people, like, living their dreams, right? So get you some Star Wars, Kevin. Um, now, some see this as maybe a prelude to a larger role for Feige in Lucasfilm. Others uh, are just saying, you know... He just loves Star Wars, and so this was a natural progression and national fit. I think Kathleen Kennedy is still, you know, in charge of everything. It's not like she's giving over, you know, anything to, to Feige at this point. So that's we don't need to worry about that. There was also this cool rumor that I jumped all over <laughs> immediately, as one does, 
Somebody said that Feige has told a major MCU star that there's a specific role that he had in mind for them in their Star Wars movie. And I immediately said, Brie Larson, Brie Larson, Brie Larson, please put Brie Larson in Star Wars. Because if you don't know, guys, she loves Star Wars. She's a huge Star Wars fangirl, huge Star Wars fangirl. And wouldn't that be so cool? Wouldn't that be the coolest thing to have her as Captain Marvel and then also have her in a Star Wars movie? I'm super down with that idea. (laughs) So those were the two big kind of things that have come out over the last couple of days that I thought were awesome. Um, I also wanted to share with you guys, Disney Plus, I have a whole list of what we think we can expect on day one. I know there were some discussions on that, but some more news has come out, and I think we've narrowed it down a little bit. Uh, plus, with everything going on in the Netherlands, they have a Disney Plus beta test happening right now. We have a little bit more information on what they're seeing. So I have gotten this great list together. You can find it on noguiltlife.com. I will go ahead and link it in the show notes for you if you want to check that out. If you're wondering about Disney Plus... You should also probably jump on over to Now Streaming Disney Plus. That's the podcast that I also run with my co-host, Andrea Updike. And that's all it's about, Disney Plus. And we talk a little bit about the beta test today's episode and what is happening, what's going well, what we hope changes, because, you know, it's a beta test. You find those bugs, right? So we're hoping that they fix some of those things. But we talk all about it. And if you want to go check that out, that's at Now Streaming Disney Plus. All right, uh, one last bit of news that came out today, and this is probably for a very small niche of people, but if you are a Run Disney enthusiast, and I know you're out there because you're my people, <laughs> I love Run Disney big time. Uh, what Run Disney is, is it's a, it's, it's where you can run races at Walt Disney World. So 5K, 10K, half marathon, there's even a full marathon option, and it's all under the umbrella called Run Disney. Well, they also, the last couple of years, I think this is the third year that they've done it. I'm trying to think, remember back on all the medals. This is either the third or this will be the fourth, I think. They're doing these summer virtual medals. And what that means is you do a virtual race during the summer. So if you can't make it to Disney World to run your races, you can still participate in kind of like the Run Disney community and still get your Disney medal by signing up for these. We don't have the signups yet. They happen every May is usually when the signups go up. We don't have the signups yet, but they did a fun little poll where they gave us three options uh, to choose for what the what the series theme would be for 2020. And they announced today what that answer is. The virtual race series is going to be theme park attractions. Now, if you've never run a virtual race... I like them, particularly for new runners or for people who just really need to stay motivated. If you kind of fall off the wagon during the summer and I'm over here raising my hand, because I totally do, this might be something that would motivate you. Like you can earn, I'm using quotation marks, you can earn your summer medal by running a 5K once a month and uh, getting something cool. And since they're Disney theme park attractions, like... They can make some really cool medals out of that idea. So I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see what they will do, what they will come up with. But if you are a virtual runner, virtual race medal runner, if you love that, if that's your thing, guys, Run Disney's got you covered. Uh, if you're not, if you are want to know more about Run Disney in general, then hit me up. I am a travel agent that specializes in Disney vacations and Run Disney is my favorite thing to send people to go and do. And I have a whole blog that is dedicated to content about Run Disney. So if you have any questions about the races, go and check out noguiltdisney.com. And that's where you're going to find all your Run Disney info that you might need. All right, guys, that's that's the daily-ish. Um, a bunch of fun stuff came out and I just wanted to talk about it. And I had a little bit of free time between sessions. And uh I just wanted to share. That's that's how the dailyish rolls. Okay. <laughs> now you may have noticed for those of you that are subscribed or are return listeners, I did not do a Monday movie minute this week. I didn't get to a movie this week, and I didn't have time. A bunch of stuff came up. It just it, it just didn't happen. So you didn't miss anything. I 
I I just didn't go to the movies, so I didn't have anything to talk about on Monday. However, that's all going to change this Monday. I hope to get to the movies once this blog com- once this blog conference is over. I hope to get to the movies and have something for you on Monday. My plans: I want to see Abominable. I want to see Judy and maybe even Rambo. <laughs> um, all three of those like they go together, right? I mean. <laughs> So, so crazy, but that's how I work. I like variety. And I think I would actually enjoy all three of those movies. Um, at least in theory, the topics I, I can get into. So we're going to, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, but that's hopefully coming for you on Monday. Thanks for fangirling with me and hope you'll throw up those five star reviews. Tell your friends, uh, share this out and, uh, come back and fangirl with me again real soon, guys. <laughs>